Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to America Truck Show. Water. Today, guys, we're gonna we're in you uh, we're in Riddick's uh, Mac. It's a C A is C U A six thirteen over on the workshop. Now, this is the flat top version of this truck. Uh, this truck has been updated for the flat top version. I'm not quite sure when the um, day cab version is coming out. He is working on the day cab version of this truck also. Um, it is a beautiful truck. It does have good sounds and everything. So let's get on the road. We got um, a load of cars here. We're going to be taking these cars up to San Francisco. And after we uh, drop this load, I'll uh, show you a thing. We'll go in the in the garage, in the dealership, and I'll show you the truck and everything. Uh, I want to say that Mr. Riddick, he has joined uh, our Facebook groups, and we're happy to have him over there on our groups. And it's just uh, for my show my appreciation to him. And what he's done, I want to get out here and make this run with this truck. Um, it's no circuit that I don't run too many modded trucks. Um, I have nothing against modded trucks. I think you know these modders they do a great job. You know they they do an awesome work with these mods. I just I just don't run many of them. And we're gonna have to squeeze our way out here because we'll never get out. We do. Not quite. I don't remember what engine is in this truck. I'll have to look to see. I think it's a uh, Mac engine. But I'm not quite positive. They're still not going to let us turn. Look at this. I'm using a traffic mod. <laughs> After this officer, the CHP officer, maybe we can get out. And there we go. But yeah, all in all, guys, a great looking truck. Really enjoy these old Macs. And this one here's done very well. Love it. And like I said, I, I don't use too many modded trucks, but you know, I wanted to get in and use this flat top. I do know that he is working on a, a day cab version of the truck. We don't know when it's going to be released. We just have to wait on it. Roll the window down. And I want to say this, you know, to any modder that watches my video, and, you know, anybody like that, it's, I, I appreciate Tremendously, what you do for this game. Um, as I've said, I have two groups of Facebook groups that I run. I, I absolutely play this game all the time, so I love to play this game. I have nothing against any modded truck out there. I think you know, y'all modders, y'all do a great job. A lot of you do this for free. A lot of us do this in your spare time. A lot of you do it in your free time. You know, and a lot of you do it because you want to do it and you enjoy it. And you know. But for me, I've drove trucks in the past. I know that a lot of these companies out here, you won't see a lot of companies buy trucks with all the extras. You know, like this one has uh, some extras on it. You don't see that because companies don't want to spend that kind of money. They want to buy it and get it on the road. That's what they want. So that's why I kind of, you know, stick with SCS trucks because they're plain like that. 
But then sometimes we get here and we run trucks like this and we have a good time. So, you know, it all, it all evens out. We're going to get rid of that. I've got this truck that I keep doing. I'm used to them being in the dash. And guys, I, I want to get back into doing videos regularly. That's what I am trying to do. And if you have not heard, SCS has announced Iowa is coming this week. We're all very super excited about that, young. Know. Get this old Mac up to speed. Let's go ahead and get a thumbnail. So we can take a look at the truck. Now, there is uh, an extra pack that Mr. Riddick has put out there for this truck. It has, it has some bumpers. I'll, I will show all that to you um, when we when we do the drop with this trailer. Get a little bit better thumbnail here. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. There we go. Just kind of being quiet, guys, and uh, looking at the sights and listening to this Mack truck. We're gonna go across the scale. Weigh 52,924 pounds. Thanks. Have a safe journey. 
We'll try. Look out the window here. Now guys, when uh, the new version of this truck comes out, the day cab, I would do a run with it to check out the day cab. I want to say too guys that I've been playing some ETS 2 now. In ETS 2 I don't use European trucks. I, I don't really particularly care for them. Mostly I use American trucks over there. Now I know Viper's truck has not been updated over there. I don't, I don't know why he hasn't updated it over there, but he hasn't. So I've been using uh, these uh, the American trucks, some of trucks over there because someone has bought these trucks, the ones that send this game over to that game in a mod on the workshop. So that's what I've been using over there. I must hear the wind in the background blowing because I hear wind. We're 160 miles out from our drop. And I do want to live stream Iowa. Um, I want to live stream it when we go up there. I think we may have some rain moving in.
Just kind of being quiet, enjoying the sights. And we are hoping to see some more great content coming from Reddit in the near future. Maybe a different truck, you know, maybe a different kind of truck, you know. We don't know. We don't know what he's going to do, you know. You know, a lot of these monitors, they only do one because, you know, it's a lot of work. It really is, you know, they, they, you, just to do one truck. They keep it updated, you know, they keep adding things to it, you know. It's, unless you have a team, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. To do this. Seventy eight miles out. Like the sun's going down. So guys, what do you think the next truck's going to be for ATS? Uh, there is some rumor that the next truck's going to be Western Star, the 5700. Uh, they said there was a building in the Beta. The Western Star dealership was found in the Beta. I looked at the Beta a little bit. I didn't ever see the building. Well, they said it, it said it was in Stockton. I went there. There was nothing there. So I don't... They may have removed it you know, before I had a time to get in and look, but... miles out. This truck actually drives pretty good. It's actually a good driving truck.
play the parking lot song. We paid for our tow there. Go ahead and leave that up. We're like 30 miles out. All right, guys, I do apologize. I've had that somebody was at the door. I'm sorry about that. We're 23 miles out from our drop. I do apologize for uh, the interruption, guys. We made it to San Francisco. We're right down the street from our drop.
All right, we're here. Let's see what they want this trailer. Let's see. They want it right there. I do say it is a good looking mic. All right, we drove excellent, 280 miles. It took us six hours and 56 minutes to get here. We consumed 46.9 gallons of fuel. All right, guys, I want to show you this truck. Once again, this is Riddix Mac. It's on, it's on the Steam Workshop. So when you go into your dealerships, you go into my dealership. up here to Mac this is here this is the flat top version he is working on a day cab version of the truck this is your flat top the whole version you have as of right now you have two this is your flat top with a sleeper this is your regular flat top this is all your uh, chassis for it it goes all the way up to a long six by uh, four, 300 gallon. All your engines, uh, you have Mac engines, you have a Cat C15, 600 horsepower Cat C15. Mostly there's a Cummins N14. Um, you have the transmissions, the 18 speed eight fuller, all these are Mac transmissions. All that's back. Now you have a special pack that he also offers us. Uh, gives you a different kind of type of interior. You have the blue and red interior. You have uh, the add-on from him for that. This is all the color options that you have for the truck. You also have an add-on also from Riddick. He gives you real companies for this truck. If you want to run, if you want to run a real company, you can do that. All the real companies and the custom option for the color. Now this is your where well you can customize your truck. Quite a few dots uh, has four bumpers. Options the two standard and the extra pack add-on you have That's the oversized flow banner guards you have the grill um, That's the round Mac A lot of different options here for this truck your mirrors Um, you have your side mirrors, you have flags, your beacon lights, side lights, um, tire options, ton of options for your wheels. 
Um, you have uh, plenty of options for rims. I always use Icoas. I, I love the look of an Icoa rim on these trucks. This is what I always use right here of all my trucks. Yeah, I mean, this truck has lots of options and he is working to improve it. Here's the inside, as you've seen, of the truck. So I want to give you a basic on um, what this truck is and what is coming to it from Riddick. And uh, this truck can be found on the workshop. And when he does update it, he does put it on all the mod sites. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. We want to get in here and show our appreciation for Mr. Riddick and uh, his uh, Mack truck. It is a beautiful mod. It's a good looking truck. And I hope for more future content from him and on this truck. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.